Dear students, today I am going to solve very important question of SC Verma, chapter number 32, Current Electricity. In this question, you will learn how symmetry is applied in order to divide the potential difference. Let's see, I want to calculate, let me read the question first. 12 wires are given, each having equal resistance small r, are joined to form a cube. Find the equivalent resistance between the diagonally opposite points. Diagonally opposite points, you can choose any one. Right now, I am just choosing 1 and x. When you see 1 and x here, I want to tell you the short trick how to get the short result of this in very small interval of time. Let's see, I am just writing over here 1 and I am writing here 6. I want to write here h. I want to write here phase time. This is phase time. Let's see. 2, 4, 8. 1 and 2 is H. 1 and 2 is H. And 2 and 6. 2 and 6. These are phase time. 1 and 4. 1 and 4 H. And 4 and 6. 4 and 6. Phase time. 1 and 8. 1 and 8 H and 8 and 6 8 and 6 phase time. By this way, you get the symmetry and you will get the same potential. If potential is same, then they are connected in parallel. If they are connected in parallel, it can be solved. Similarly, for the other case from the other edge, right from the 6, when you find 3, 5, 7, they have the same potential. They have the same potential because they are symmetric about the edge and face. Same manner you can solve by this way. And finally you will get very important thing that is resistance between 1 and 6. Between any phase diagonal you can identify it right now and just stress it on 1 and 6. And that will be R by 3 resistance and R by 6 resistors and finally this is 1 and this is 6 that is also R by 3. Now all are in series. Then if you calculate it, resistance between 1 to 6 is 5 R on 6. This is the shortcut way. You solve it by also the Chopp's law. But right now this is very effective. If you understand it, you can solve all 